Welcome back to the third tutorial that I'll make for Kali Linux. And I have to start off with the same warning. I'll use every video so I don't get in trouble. This tutorial is for educational purposes only. I do not condone any act of computer misuse. This video is in objective alignment with the Kali Linux certified professional. Okay, now that's out of the way, we can have some fun. All right, so the last video we looked at Meterpreter Shell Basics. I want to look at this feature in this module. It's called the hash dump. Okay, so when you run a hash dump, it'll give you a SAM file like this. I know that this is the part of the hash that we need to crack. If you look here, that is actually the NTLM for this account here. I used this by uh, Mimikatz and I grabbed it. So I know 100% sure that is the hash that we need to crack. So I made a hash file for that. I have a password dictionary file. Okay. So let's open Hashcat. So without knowing anything, Right, this is just like the help tutorial when you open Hashcat. Let's just paste this down here and see what happens. Uh, I know that I've got different files here, so let me open. I could type it out, but maybe I'm not that accurate. I'm kind of lazy. Okay, so that's our hash. Cool. And then I need, where's the dictionary? There it is. Okay, cool. I'm not sure if I can use those quotes. I don't think I can. Let's take them out. And let's see what happens when we do this without really knowing the command arguments or anything. And then no hashes loaded. Okay. So you'll realize up here, if you want to do a word list, you would use attack zero. If you want to do a brute force, you would use argument three for attack three. Um, I have some arguments here we'll look at. Okay, so we know that we need NTLM. I verified that up here. Yep, yep, yep. So let's change that. So we have to use number 1000. Okay. The attack mode is using word list. That's fine. That's what I want. Okay, now it's loading and you can see it cracked it pretty quickly, right? Cool. Okay, so you'll see it right here. Yep. And if you're gonna be using Hashcat a lot, I found that if you do this attack again, you will not get the same result. <laughs> it's kind of frustrating. It stores this in what's called a pop file. So if you want to see the same passwords again, you need to do a tech tech show. And that will display it again down here. Uh, it's good to know where that pop file is. And I like to use nano myself. And there you go. It's stored there locally on Kali Linux. That is how you can use Hashcat to make a pop file and to crack hashes with dictionary attacks. Maybe we'll use Hashcat later to do some other cracking, but this is pretty common with interpreter shells. Great. Thanks for watching. Hope you had fun.